Okay, so I feel like Billy Normates being on SU2 and I can't join anybody in any multiplayer that's on SU1. I can see them on the map, but I can't actually, they can't see me and I can't see them. So I decided to come out of SU2 for now to see if we can join some of the, and it's a bit crazy because how are we supposed to test multiplayer SU2 if the only ones that you can see is people that are in SU2? But most of the streamers that I see that I follow, none of them, fair enough, follow or enter SU2 because it's so many crashes and crashes the desktop and hangs and the whole lot. They're not going to chance streaming with SU2. So I'm not sure how Microsoft think we're going to actually test multiplayer because unless I'm missing something, unless they have multiplayers on SU2, dedicated ones that everybody can join in and test. Maybe they have, I just haven't seen them. But otherwise, the normal people, normal streamers I watch, none of them are in SU2, so I can't test anything. So I'm going to come out of SU2 for now and test a couple of things and maybe go back into it then when it's not multiplayer that I want to test. So we're going to see, so just for my own record and anybody else, I'm going to see what the actual what the hell is going to happen this time is it going to uninstall the sim like it did a couple of times and I had to reinstall it from brand new or is it just going to let me out of the beta 2 and just go back with a small change back to SU1 so at the moment for everybody's record I have and I'm going to prove I have it I have limitless SU2 beta testing so you can see it's all installed there I'll actually go back to packages out of the community folder so we have it we'll go back up one layer we should be able to see packages and even further so we have microsoft limitless let's just leave that open We'll actually go up one more step. So we have limitless. I've got 102 gigabytes in there. Okay. So let's just see what happens when I click on the. Come back out of the beta. Manage. Leave. What are we going? What's it going to do? Okay, so we'll leave the preview. Uh, this is where I crap myself because normally when I do this, what's it going to do? Pending. This is where you got to start praying. Is it going <laughs> to? Is it going to install the whole of the same again? Here's hoping it doesn't uninstall the whole thing again. Okay, let's fast forward. I don't know how long that's going to take. Still going. Might as well let this record and see how long does it actually take to come out of it. Okay, so we're out of the beta. Now, has it actually, if we click refresh here, will this... No, limitless is still there. 102 okay it hasn't kicked me out this time so hopefully if i go into okay so it's let me out of the beta okay and hasn't decided screw you i'm gonna reinstall the whole sim again so i'm not sure why the last two times i've gone into su1 beta it reinstalled the whole sim and su2 it reinstalled the whole sim i wonder when i go back into su2 beta again will it reinstall the whole thing so it looks like it's loading up okay okay so the nightmare of having to reinstall what <laughs> game update available oh here we go here we go when i click this what Seriously, now? 
downloads. This is where it could get. So let's kick me over to the Microsoft Store. So if I play now. Okay, so it's going to download something. What's it downloading? That folder appeared, which is a good sign. Still 102 gigabytes. Uh, this is where now it goes to crap with me. This is my issue every time going in and out of the beta. It could sit here forever and never actually download anything. Not again. So it's looking bad. It's looking like I'm going to have to reinstall again. If from what the other two thing. No, it's kicked off. Okay. Give it a couple of minutes. It's kicked off the download. Maybe I was too impatient. Now, yes, anybody out there, I know these are beta tests. So it's going to be crap. It's going to be bugs in this. That's why the test. But I don't think, as far as anyone else has said, that you've had to reinstall the whole sim. This time it doesn't look like it's going to do it to me. Lucky enough, my internet download speed is quick enough. Being on fiber to the premises. I can only imagine if this was years ago, way back in the beginning when I was playing flight sim, I was flying flight sim. Man, that thing took days to download something as small as even an extra plane. This is flight sim FX and all the older ones, original ones. There is no way I could have even imagined that I was getting 26, 30 seconds. To download an 8.7 gigabyte file way back, I'm talking 20 years ago, more, 25 years ago. To download that, I might as well have left the computer on dial up for the year and I might have downloaded the Windows. But we've come a long way in 25 years. Pause and come back to when it's finished and see can I get into the sim. Okay, so that has downloaded in about three minutes and it's installing. Oh, okay, let's have a quick look at Limitless. Has it disappeared? Nope, properties of it still 102 gigabytes installing. Okay. We'll let that install. Okay, so that's installed. Now can see, can we get back into it? What? What other update are we to do? Oh, don't tell me we're stuck in a... What's it downloading this time? Oh, come on, this is the nightmare I've gone in and out of beta. This is my fault. Advice to anybody, don't go in and out of beta. It's gone off. Why is it gone off downloading 8.7 gigs again? Is the folder missing? Nope, the folder's not missing. And it's still 102 gigabytes. But it's gone off again to download it. So yet again, we have to wait another five minutes to download it again. So I'm not sure whether they even report this to Microsoft because Microsoft will go, that's not my problem. You're the one that decided to go in and out of beta, not us. Is there anybody else? Can you leave a comment if anybody sees this, this thing and that using beta, that this is happening to them? Anybody else having this issue where they go in and out of beta and the downloading is like repeated and they're having issues like that? Okay, so we'll let that download. Okay, so let's download it for the second time. Nearly. Come on. Finish the download. Now we are going to actually get into 2024. Is it going to say it needs to download another one? Yep. 
maybe we might be lucky after two downloads now we're in 1.3.23.0 which i take it is su1 non-beta okay so this is the joys of jumping in and out of the beta test and again don't bother <laughs> giving out to me i have no one but myself to blame because i've decided to do it they haven't forced it on me so it looks this time it's downloaded eight it hasn't it didn't remove the folder this time completely it has remained there and it has remained at 200 and 102 gigs so it hasn't removed it completely this time and it looks like it's gone past all the update thing looks like we might be actually into the sim in conclusion that was painless enough this time compared to the last two times it didn't remove the folder completely I did have to re-download the course because I'm coming out of beta 2 into SU1 stable version. So, yeah, that looked pretty okay this time. We'll see the next time when I go from stable SU1 back into beta, what happens. We'll see if the um, old folder gets removed again or not. But for now, it looks to be okay. Looks to be smooth enough to come out of SU2 beta back into SU1 stable version. Again, this is probably no addition to anybody. <laughs> it's more just for me to see, to keep a record of what it was like. And um, any comments or anything, just drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Talk to you later. Bye.